Hi there, it's me, Jim. I'm sure you remember me from our last episode. Did we have a last episode? I think we did. At any rate, today's subject is fun with poetry. Now, we all know that poetry isn't really any fun, so this is sort of a subset. Today we're going to do fun with magnetic poetry. Magnetic poetry is these little words. They're magnetic. Today we'll talk about uh, using technology to produce these. Now, here's the things that you need. You need A, a label maker. This one happens to be a Dymo Letra Tag. This one is a Brother P Touch. Also very important that you have white tape with black letters. Then you need a sheet of magnetic material. Now this is probably the hardest thing to get. I found these. There are a bunch of advertising things on them. Um, and uh, it's magnetic and it's flexible. Now, perhaps, you know, you're an actual real poet and you can't afford a refrigerator, which is generally the case. This is another handy thing, the Magnetic Poetry Composition Journal. I'll hold that up to the Magnetic Poetry Composition Journal. Now, what this is, is basically looks like a, a slim volume, but it's actually just two steel plates underneath this thing and that the, the letters and, and words will stick to. So you can see this. A lot of the words are stuck on here. I just did this randomly. But these are mostly words that came out of that box, but um, then I made some up, put them on there. So, uh, you know, you can have a certain amount of fun with these things by challenging the poet you might be giving these to with words that are difficult to rhyme or difficult to include in a poem. And I think I've done that here. Some of the words I've put in here are, um, well, it says bilge pump. That one's difficult. Uh, mass spectrometer. That one would probably be not the easiest thing to incorporate into a poem. Uh, Subaru, um, although you can rhyme lots of things with Subaru. Uh, warthog, did we say that one? Yeah, Warthog, Lava Lamp, Booger, two words that can be practically anything, mumble de mumble Underneath there I have 55, Facebook, Wedgie, Chillmark, Chocolates right over here. I have no idea what the relationship is. Gunk up here. So the process, let's do the process. I'm going to take this letter, this labeler, this is the uh, Dymo Letra set. I have another one here because my motto is two of everything. Because if you know, this breaks, I'll have a spare one. Um, it's going to say that on my tombstone. It's going to say, Jim, two of everything. Then on my other tombstone, it's going to say, Jim, two of everything. All right, I digress. So I could make up another strange word, but maybe I want to sign my work, you know. Poets like to, you know, I mean, we want to know who wrote this thing so we can challenge them about it and say, what the heck were you talking about? I don't get it. All right, so a, a very well-known poet in the United States, this keyboard, by the way, is not QWERTY, as they say, it's just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, like that. So it's a little hard for those of us who type it 170 words a minute to <laughs> seven words a minute. Um, okay, and, uh, and boy, it's hard. No, here's, here's my editor, Scout. Hello, Scout, say hello. Ooh, kisses, kisses. A rose by any other name would not smell like feet. Okay, I've done that, and then I just have to print the uh, push the print button, which is green, after Scout approves it. All right, all right. Good, good girl. All right. Print. It makes a noise, buzzing noise, and out comes the label. And when it's through running and making that noise, push this button here that cuts it. And the label is done. And then I'm going to take the magnetic sheet, that thing right there, and uh, I've been working on the same sheet, but I'm going to stick this right on the edge, right along there, and I have to put it down on the table out of range here, but you'll see it. Now this stuff is fairly easy to cut with a pair of scissors, as I will demonstrate right now. But what you don't want to do is if somebody in your household 
values their scissors a lot. Let's say they sew. When they have really good scissors, stay away from those scissors. Find an old pair of scissors, buy a cheap pair of scissors, if you're going to make this serious thing. What do you think? So, um, we trim it down a little bit, make it nice and square. Trim a little off the top, too. Okay, and I think we're done. And this is, of course, that famous American poet. So, you need scissors, letter maker, magnetic sheet, and this, if you don't happen to have a refrigerator, magnetic poetry composition journal. And uh, that's all you need to do, or all you need to have, and you can have big fun. And then you can take this and give it to perhaps a, you know, somebody you know who's a poet as a gift. And um, perhaps they'll uh, still speak to you. So that's it for today for me and Scout, who wasn't supposed to be in this video, but were you, were you supposed to be in this video? All right. So that's it for me and Scout for today, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Here's an update. I've just been visited by a uniformed representative of the United States government, and this is what he brought me. And what is this, you say? This is the coveted Telly Award. Now, I think you'll agree that this poetry production was brilliant, like all of my productions are, but who would expect this? And this is, look at this, this is the, the 2010, right over there, 2010, and it's only the first day of 2010. And Jim Novak, Fun with Magnetic Poetry. Oh, that's right. That's what I did name this thing, Fun with Magnetic Poetry. Isn't that wonderful? I thought you'd agree.